Hi, welcome to another RHC series video. In this one, we'll look at SSH. Okay, let's have a look at the objectives first. So, under SSH, you are required to configure key based authentication and configure uh, additional options described in documentation. The uh, usual uh, around network services. Uh, such as installing the correct packages, configuring SE Linux, uh, configuring SE Linux port labeling, and um, configuring automatic startup of the services, uh, that all still applies. So we will configure server1.example.com to log into server2.example.com using key-based authentication. Um, we'll also look at some of the uh, configuration options available for SSH as well. Okay, so let's get started. This is server one. Um, there are some commands available that you can use to um, generate SSH key, so SSH dash keygen, that's the one you would use to generate the key pair, so the public key and the private key. Um, there is an option to enter a passphrase, so I'll leave this blank. And then there's another uh, op uh, command available, SSH copy ID, which very easily copies your public key to the destination server. So let's copy this uh, to server2. So ssh copy id root at server2.example.com. You will have to uh, enter the root password the first time. Okay, so that's done. So all being well, we should be able to log into uh, server2.example.com without requiring a password. So let's ssh root at server2.example.com and there you go. So that's all you need to do. Uh, let me just show you the uh, the important files. So under in the home directory there's a .ssh directory. If you look at the contents of that there is two files. The one we're interested in is authorized keys. This is where ssh copy id copied the key over to the public key. If you had to manually do that, uh, you you can create that file and just copy the key. You'd also do that when using uh, Patigen uh, from Windows to Linux, for example. Uh, important to check the uh, correct SE Linux context, which is ssh underscore home underscore t. All right, let's remove this file um, and exit out of this server. And let's try go back in again and see what happens. So there you go, it's uh, prompting for password because the key is now missing. Let's uh, copy the key back again. So SSH copy ID, so root at server2.example.com. Okay, so let's go back into server2. There you go. And let's have a uh, look at the. Um, the file, the important file, which is uh, sshd, sshd underscore config in the etc ssh directory. Okay, let's have a quick look through this. Okay, nothing here. Okay, so this is the root login. By default, it's allowed. If you had to disable root login, uncomment this line and change that to no. I won't do it, but this is what you need to do. What else is there? Okay, so this is where password authentication is being allowed. Um, if you want to just key based authentication, you would change that to no. And these are for forwarding the um, the GUI interface, so the X11. Mm, 
What else is there? There is a um, banner that you can display. Uh, that's MOTD. I think it's capital M. So message of the day. So this is when uh, you log in if you wanted to display a particular message. Uh, you would set this. So let's uh, find the command. There you go. So print MOTD is already set to yes. So um, if we add the MOTD file that would get displayed. The other thing is by default it listens on port 22. Now you could change that to any port that you want. Um, some people do that as a security measure so not put it on the default port. You can also uh, bind it to a particular IP if you have multiple interfaces. Uh, let's have a quick look at the man page. So that's man sshd. Um, you should look at this before the exam just to familiarize yourself. Uh, some of the important files are listed here as well. That's a config file. Okay, so there's the file that we want is etc motd. So if we uh, create that file um, and whenever we log on to SSH, that would get displayed. So let's do that quickly. So let's type uh, welcome to server one dot example dot com. Log off if you are not authorized to log off. To this server uh, system. Okay, so let's um, have a look at that config file again. Okay, so that is let's uncomment that out. I think by default is yes anyway, but uh, it's uncommented. Right, if we uh, we do need to restart the service. So system CTO restart SSHD. Let's exit and log back in. Um, there you go. Welcome to server. Uh, actually, it's server two. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's server two. Example dot com. It should be. But uh, you get the uh, you get the idea. So let's um, dis disallow a root login. So that's set to no. If we restart the service again, and then let's exit out of server two and then uh, try go back in again. There you go, it's prompting for a password firstly, which is bad news. And then secondly, it's not same permission denied. It will keep doing that because we have disallowed root login. Okay, let's uh, hop over to actual server two and uh, change that config back. So etc ssh sshd underscore config. Okay, let's comment that out. The default is yes. So if we comment it out, that will be allowed. And let's also change uh, SSH to listen on port a different port. So let's change that to uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So 
So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's save this file okay so now that we changed uh, the port we do need to configure SE Linux uh, port labeling so if you run SE manage uh, port and then list so and then grep on uh, SSH you'll see that SSH, this port 22 is assigned SSH underscore port underscore T. So we need to assign port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to SSH underscore port underscore T. So to do that is SC manage port. And uh, let's have a look at some of the options. So A for add. We can do, yeah, A for add. The type is SSH underscore port underscore T. And yes, we need to specify protocol. So that is dash dash proto, and we want TCP. And what else do we need? And just the port number one two three four five. And that should assign do the correct labeling for port one two three four five. Okay, let's uh, list them again. There you go, one, two, three, four, five has been added. We also need to open the firewall. So that's firewall-cmd, um, permanent, add port. And it's one, two, three, four, five slash TCP. Let's just reload the config. So firewall dash cmd dash dash reload. Let's see if our setting got applied. Uh, yes, there you go. Finally, let's uh, restart the service. So, not etc in it, it is systemctl. Restart SSH D. Okay, let's go back to server one. And uh, yeah, so we have to specify port, so that's just dash p, one two three four five, and there you go. We are now listening on one two three four five. And that concludes the uh, video for SSH. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, drop me a line, uh, and don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe as well.